Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. So, I'm going to need to be able to make some of these. And I'm going to say I want to make ten of these. At the moment I can make five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. I'm actually going to cancel that last one because I'm going to go and get some more materials. Uh, I am going to go back over here. Now, the thing that I don't like about this is if I go in here, I can't just take these out of here. It's on supply. Oh, storage. Does that mean I can pick them up? How do I pick them up if they're on storage? I've got belts I think that can come out of other places right apparently I can't just go and easily take this stuff out of here even though I would like to like I, I can take I can clear and reset and I got storage and I got supply or I've got demand so I've got those currently going on to supply I don't get it why can't I just take it out without having to take Everything. I don't want to take. I don't, there's 900 in here. I don't want to take that many. It's a bit daft. All right. Well, as I can't do it quite how I'd like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tab through. So I've got that one, and and I'll click that down, and that will go out there. So that's going to bring some out over to here, and I'll bring that out a little ways so that I've. And just back away from that one a little bit so that I'm not like uh, crowding things at all and I can go in here I've got a large storage I don't want that large storage at the moment I want to go in here I want to go to buildings and I want to make a small storage unit right there it's actually making five which I didn't want to do I just wanted one uh, that one bring you over and dump you down there like that and then I want to go here and I want to go to logistics. And I'm going to take one fast belt and I'm going to drop that into there. It's not a belt. One fast thing you use it. There. Right. I've now got some of this going in here. I didn't want lots and lots of it. I don't need lots and lots of it going in there. I can just go and get a little bit. So I've got 30 of them already. And uh, one other thing that I do want to do is I want to go back over here. We can ignore that for a minute. And it's that storage right there. I'm going to take 200 processors. And I can go into here. Buildings. No, not buildings. Components. Logistics vessels. I have three. I can only make three because of the number of the titanium things that I've got. So we, I mean, may as well start making some of them. One, two, three. It does take a while to build those bad boys, doesn't it? And did I build any already? Did I build any any already? I don't think I did. I want to have a look in here. So now I've got like 200 of these, which is good. So I can have that. So what we'll end up with is that one will have a full stack and then this one out here will have a stack where I can actually get them from for me for building things in my hand. So there, I've got logistics vessel. It says six now. Oh, I've got six. Ideal. All right. Uh, I will make one, two, seven, eight, nine. That makes ten right there. I've got ten logistics vessels. So I'm going to put five of them in here. And then I'm going to... So we go in here, and I'll go like that. And I'll go one. No. I'll take four of those. Like that. Five. So I've got five of five right there. So they will send out from here and go over to the other planet and pick up and then bring them back to here. And then I'll use the other five in the other station that I've got, which is that one right there, that interstellar logistics station that we've now picked up. How many more have I got? I can make two more. Let's do it. Let's make two more. Let's do it. And then we got six in this one. Put one down there and separate it out. So I've got six in here and then I'll have six in the other one. I want to just head over here. I'm going to go over to the other side. 
I'm going to plonk down here, we'll dump our stuff off, we'll get a bit more fuel in our fuel chamber, in there, because I've run out, and then we'll head over to the other planet and we'll set up the other planetary logistics system. 200 kilowatt mega fuel power has now been discovered. Uh, mecha now has more fuel generation as long as there is fuel in the chamber to recover. Uh, you know, I was just thinking, I'm busy putting all my stuff in here. I don't need to do that at all because I don't need to bring back a whole load of titanium, do I? I, I absolutely do not need to bring titanium back to this system, not in any way, shape or form. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to worry about that. Not at all. What I am going to do is I'm going to come over here to that one and I'm going to drop in all of that titanium right there. Uh, actually, I'll put in all of the titanium because I am about to go to a planet that has got a little bit of titanium stored up on it. So we'll probably be able to use some of that. And I am going to go over to here and I'm going to grab some of that one two three four one two three four like that and then I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna go one two three four of those in there so that I start generating a little bit more power and then I'm going to go and find this one right here and I'm going to stand beside it so that I charge up even faster than I am right now. I've got no research happening. I don't know if it's been unloaded or if it's just not happening. Uh, what am I going to want? Drone engine, drive engine, unlocks uh, mecha sail, plus 1,000 meters per second mecha sail speed. That does seem like it might be a useful thing. Um, inventory capacity right there. Yes, I will go and take inventory capacity. Uh, and we'll go back to the techs over here. So we've got interstellar logistics. We've got interstellar power transmission. Right there, using energy exchanger, the surplus electricity energy in the grid can be made into a fuel accumulator transported to another planet and then released through the energy exchanger. Realize transportation of trend. Uh, we're going to queue that one up. 1,200 of each of those and 120 yellows. High strength, lightweight structures. There, we will queue that one up. Mini fusion power generator, high strength materials, Casimir crystals, miniature particle colliders, satellite power distribution system. Definitely want that one, I think. And I think I will just go with these two right here. Um, high strength, lightweight structures, already got that. Interstellar power, already got that. Right, I kind of got most of what I'm going to want. Planetary ionosphere utilization. I won't worry about that yet. This is, this is most of what I want now. So I'm going to go with that one. And then I'm going to go with the miniature particle collider. And that's all seven items that I can queue up for at the moment. Um, I also... One other thing that I would like to take a look at is... Not just so we got the solar sails right there that we can go and make, and then we've also got this one, the EM rail ejector, launch large amount of solar sails into the orbit of a system star to form a Dyson swarm. What are solar sails used for? I don't even know what they're used for. They use the EM2, which can be more effective, effectively obtain the radiant energy of stars. Do they transmit anything to Earth as they are, or what? I See, I'm not sure about that. So that is definitely something that we're going to be working on. But right now, we're not. We are going to go out into space off to a new planet. So I want to come out of here. I need to actually find... The planet that I'm looking for so I want to I want to get away from our planet a minute get us a decent altitude nearest astronomical object is a thousand meters away we are getting away from the 2k we're approaching three kilometers we're three kilometers above the surface of the planet 
over there and getting further away. So what I want is Capella 1 is the one that I'm after, isn't it? So I need to go to that bad boy right over there. So we go here and then we press and hold shift and that boosts up our sail speed all the way up. Now we've got a lot of fuel in the chamber, which means that I can set the sail speed all the way up to a full thousand and then I can leave it there. And all I got to do is just cruise along through space until I smack into Capella 1. And I'm actually going more than the sail speed would normally allow. If I press shift... It immediately slowed down, but if I press and hold and I just go in a straight line like this, I'm actually able to increase the speed slightly. It's going faster and faster now. I wonder if it's because I'm going so close to the sun. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, whether it's using... I think it might be. It's now slowing down. I wonder if the game uses gravity, like it, it does a, a gravitational slingshot type effect by whizzing on around the sun. If it does actually have that as a feature, that is very cool. But there we go, a thousand meters per second straight into the surface of the planet. I love the way it does that. And there is our um, facility over here. I just need to come and land in next to this one right in here and I'm gonna stand next to that one right there and I'm going to accumulate a little bit of power now it looks like we have actually filled all of these up now that top one up there is not full that one is this one the rest of these are all full apart from that one that is the only one now that is not completely filled up to the brim um, Right, I'm, I'm going to keep standing here until I have drained all the power. I do want to have a little bit out of here. I wanted to get a few more just for me. So I'm going to take a, a little handful of those like that. I don't need any more than that. And as we are now full of power, I've got the belt bringing the items into this one. I don't know if I should just use the same. You know, I'm, I'm going to use the same belt. I'm going to have this all done off of the same belt. So we are going to go. I'm going to get rid of that one. I have method. Yeah, I, I do actually want to get rid of that one. I do want to get rid of it because despite the fact that I am upgrading them, I want to put them in on the side like that so that they do it like that that's that's kind of why I wanted to move it because I've got them all on the center one at the moment but I need to change this round because I didn't realize when I first built this that drones don't go into the storages here you still got to belt the items into the various different planetary storages and stuff that we can go and use so I've got that right there. This belt is conveyor belt mark 1. So I'm going to want to upgrade that one. So if I go here and I press shift, upgrade that bad boy right there. And that leaves me with 21 fast belts. I'm fine with that leaving me with 21 fast belts. Uh, I've got 7 of those. Which means that I can do some up... I'm not going to bother doing any other upgrades on there. I've got enough smelters here to not have to worry about any upgrades coming through. So then all I want to do is I want to extend that track out a little bit so that I can go and put down my interplanetary logistics system, which is there. Uh, logistics system, logistics station. So I just want that one. He's, only, he's actually only got to be fairly close by. He's going to drop right there like that. So this is the only item I'm going to be getting off the surface of this planet right now. Need to worry about any other items coming off the surface of this planet. So we're going to take 21 belts. And just bring a few of them over to here like this. And then I will have... Actually, we're going to do two of these. We're going to go with one there. That is... Oh! No, of course! You, you don't need to do it like that. You need to do it like that at all. We can do it like this. We take this one and we go straight inside like that. 
And it feeds straight in. We don't need to have any kind of sorters filling these things out. These do it all themselves. Right, so you drop down there like that. And then if I have a look in here, you can see we are now charging up. So if I have a look at this one, I have got generation capacity 6.3, consumption demand 64.5, current generation is 23. It's because we are discharging quite a bit. And everything else is short on power because I am sucking every single bit of power out of the system into this one. And that is potentially a bit of a problem. Now, these accumulators only seem to be able to discharge at a set rate. They are discharging, but I'm curious if the way that they discharge means that like, this, this is what's holding everything up. And I've got the wind turbines here. Have I got anything else? I should have brought some solar panels. So what I should have done, I should have brought some solar panels to this one. Um, if we go to the map right here, we have an axial tilt on this planet of seven. Seven degrees. It's not even a full seven, is it? This is like a, a, a partial. Uh... It's pretty much bang on both poles. So if I was to set up solar panels at both poles, we would have a good supply of power coming into this planet here. That, that would work quite nicely. But, I mean, we don't at the moment. Uh, you are still charging. You've got two gigajoules in there. And once we... She you know, daytime is not going to make any difference because I don't have any solar panels. And I don't have any here either. Can I make solar panels... Ooh, I might be able to do that. Let's have a look. Uh, buildings, solar panels. I don't have any high purity silicon. I've got glass. Okay, right, never mind. Uh, one line of extra inventory space. Excellent, that's fantastic. And now we're working on the... Um, next bit up there. I, I can't remember what that one is. Uh, I'm just wondering, maybe I should go with some more of these. Like, I have a look at the power now. I've got generation capacity, consumption demand, current generation 6.3, uh, discharge, charge, consumption, generation. That one's... The, the, these, these are all empty. And I've got the wind turbines that do store stuff up, but they're, they're not able to produce all that much, by the look of it. Like, we're, we're still charging, and that's going to take a while, and these are going to need a decent bit of recharging. So, I've got some issues here. I, as I see it, I've got two choices. I can either go back and get some more solar panels. I mean, I can set that one up and I can have that running right now so that it is doing everything it needs to do because that's draining all power out of the system until that one's charged up. So I could, I could just knit back home and... Well, I just need to get a couple stacks of solar panels, to be honest. I don't need, I don't need anything else. If I was to get a couple stacks of solar panels and bring them back, we can drop them on the north and south poles connect them up, and then I'll have all the power that I need to run this. Either that, or i got to make a boatload of wind turbines, which do 300 kilowatts at a time. And I can only make eight of those, which isn't going to be enough. At least I don't think it is. Okay, right, well, that's decided. We are going to go. Let's leave the planet surface. We're sail mode starts, tab, lock, unlock cursor. Right, where's home? Home sweet home. There it is. 1.23 units away. So I want to just press shift. Power up through like this. And all you've got to do is just press and hold shift. Because I've now got so much capacity and so much power storage, I can go all the way to maximum speed without fear of actually running out of power. And if I have a look in here, I've still got more than half of the power available in my power generation facility thingy-majiggy. So we've got no issues whatsoever. At all. 
except that my sail speed is slowing down. I'm pressing forward, it might just be because I'm trying to turn a corner. I suspect that's partly what it is. If you, if you try and turn a corner while you're flying, it doesn't always work quite well, does it? Uh, where am I wanting to crash land? Something there. Oh, that's that's the planetary thing. Ah. Right, have a look at this. If we zoom out a bit, right there, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have got room for another four ships on there. Which means that I got room for another... No, I've got room for ten ships over on the other one. And I'm kind of thinking that might be a good idea. That that might be a good thing to do. So if I... What have I got it set on at the moment? Local supply, remote demand. And I'm going to leave it on that. I don't have... I should have set the other one and then these ships would have started moving already. I could have done that. Alright. Let's... Wait a minute. I know what I. Well, I know what else that I want to do. I want to go into here. I want to have a look at the ships in there. Those drives. It's that titanium that I want, and then it's those engine units that I want, and it's also that I've got them. It's just these that I need. I. I. Yeah. Right. I've, I've got most of what I want for this thing. I do have most of what I want for it now, and it's not that one at all that I'm wanting, it's... Let me go over here, it's this one over here that's bringing the stuff backwards and forwards. So I've got some materials in here, and I'm going to take another 200 of them. We'll do it like that, and I probably should, I should have just brought a few more of them back, just to, like, keep us going here a minute. I've got a few. Actually, I'm not going to worry about that for a second, because I want to just make sure that I can make the stuff here. Want that one. One, two, three, four of those. Is that going to be enough to make some more ships? I can make 15 ships now. So, we want to put some of the ships in here. I need to put, I want to put another four in here. And then I've got ten of them. Right, ten is max carry capacity 200. Logistics, ten out of ten in there is the absolute maximum. So, I then want to go back into here. And I want to go to that one. And I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will make 10 for the other planet as well. And I can stack those back up a bit. I will now take the titanium that I'm carrying and I will dump all of it into here like this. Uh, it's just going to allow that to just keep going a little bit just for a minute. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take all the solar panels that we've got. So that I can put 50 at each pole. That's what we'll do there. We'll put 50 at each pole. Right, let's go. I know I'm actually, I'm not fully charged yet. I ought to do that just before I leave. As a safety precaution, I ought to fully charge back up again so that I don't possibly get lost in space. Lost in Space was an excellent series to watch. I remember that from many years ago. I mean, it's it's probably a little dated these days. Uh, but I don't know when there's been new Lost in Spaces. There's been Lost in Space films. There's been all sorts. Um, I, I watched it a long time. We, we're going back 30 years or more now when I was watching Lost in Space. I did thoroughly enjoy watching it. I, I, I won't deny, I, I did really enjoy watching Lost in Space, but I don't want to actually be Lost in Space. That's 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 the big difference here. I, it, it, it seems like it would be pretty cool, but honestly, I don't think it would be. And back into Capella 1 like that. So we will toggle flight mode. And then let's go up to the surface a bit. There we go. Right, and... Where is the actual North Pole? The pole is up here somewhere. Uh, well, there's an easy way to find out where the pole is. If I do that, there we go, there's the pole. Right, so if I... Drop back down. So what did I do before? I, di I didn't, like, drop one... I know what I did. I put one of these right in the middle, didn't I? 
I put one of those down like that, and then I started connecting solar panels up to that. And kind of like, did it like this. And it doesn't matter all that much, because it's, it's not like it's something that I'm going to come back and spend a lot of time staring at. But I still want to make sure it's, it's kind of looking alright. You know, alien... Aliens might come along here and find this one day and wonder what kind of civilization could make something so monstrous that it, it was it was left, like, uneven and untidy. Like, that, that they could actually consider this to be a symbol of absolute total decadence and, and decide that... Any civilization that could make something so untidy as to not make the solar panels perfect is one that, yes, I, I know that by that point humanity will have completely disappeared, but they, they may even consider it worth building a time machine, going back in time and wiping us out. If I don't put these down neat and tidy, right? We don't want that. We don't need that. So we will make sure that we have these looking good and then after I've done this line I probably won't worry too much about it uh, on that one there and there I have already done quite a bit of solar panel placing so this is not exactly new territory that we are on right here we're, we're familiar with the process here right, you go back over to there and then Right, I got another 25 that I want to place here. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run around the circle and I'm going to keep placing them down now. No matter how uneven they might be. You have unlocked the energy exchanger. You can make the surplus electricity in the power grid into a full accumulator or release the electric energy stored in the accumulator to supply the facility. Quite sure how we move stuff like that, but it's certainly going to be an interesting thing to take a look at. Um, I'm liking the sound of a lot of the technologies that we've got here. Like it's it's certainly proving to be an interesting experience. Unlike all of this stuff that we're unlocking, right? I know that I've used more than 50 here. That is actually fully by design. I am going to put all of the solar panels that we've got at this pole right here. The axial tilt on this planet is so minimal. I kind of figured it wasn't really worth setting up two of them. There is a little bit of an axial tilt, which means that this power supply will be ever so slightly seasonal but honestly I think it's such a small amount that it's gonna be you know practically nothing right that there is there's gonna just be nothing in it whatsoever um so I, I'm not too concerned about the seasonal supply uh, let's keep on going like this I've only got 12 left to do now and there, like that. We're gaining a little bit of the soil pile, but not very much. Right, I got some stone there. Not going to use it just at the moment. We're not doing very much more extraction on this planet just yet. We will, I have no doubt. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.